Welcome back to this old sword blade reviews, blade lovers. And today we are featuring um, a knife that is uh, very close to grail quality. I think anything by Riot tends to be. Um, <clears throat> and lately they've been doing some interesting things too. They're coming out with a pivot lock um, in a day or so. I um, hope to get one from White Mountain Knives. It's um, a, a lower cost item, I think, just a little over 100 bucks. And for Riot, that's uh, saying something. Uh, we'll discuss that at a later date, but um, I've got, you know, their Exo Gravity Knife line, their Exo K, the Karambit, so on and so forth. And I've got a few knives made by Riot as the OEM that we'll take a look at in a moment. And I'll show you why I really like what they do with their grind. So there is what it comes in, kind of a, uh, it's tough getting theirs open. There's no zipper. They use some heavy duty Velcro. <laughs> and the knife we're taking a look at today, we'll put a little old sword away there, is the Riot Tiger. Look at these amazing grinds. I mean, whew, God, that's what I love about Ria is the crisp, incredibly accurate grinds. If you like that treatment of the metal on your blades, then you know you already like Ria. Several different directions there for the brushed finish, which uh, not everybody picks up on. You know, you see it, but maybe you don't... Uh, really appreciate it or talk about it. So we've got obviously incredible compound grinding going on here with a hollow in that recurve section with a swedge at the top and a tanto sort of Persian treatment. Uh, some people will say, oh, it's not Persian because the point doesn't go so many centimeters above the blade. And la, la, la. Um, it's Persian looking to me. I'm going to call it a Persian Tonto. How about that? <laughs> so, you know, you see the uh, brushed carbon, brushed carbon fiber. You see the brushed finish going in different directions. And again, let's see if I can get the light right so you can see that. Yeah, so they're going that way. That's going that way. That flat is going that way, and the swedge is going the same direction as the main edge. Just crazy. And there have been like four versions of this. Um, I saw a very good review on this knife, uh, the Tiger, if I didn't mention that, uh, from Metal Complex, and he shows all the versions of it. And uh, some who are uh, collaborating with Riot to get their knives sent to them for review. I wish I was one. Uh, this was my own purchase from White Mountain. And by the way, you can get 10% off if you use my discount code Old Sword. This one has the uh, grooved handle, for lack of a better term. There is also kind of a diamond pattern, and there is one other pattern, and there are at least one with a fat carbon fiber inlay. So I like this one. You know why? <laughs> It was the only one still available from White Mountain. That's how popular this knife has been. It came out a few months ago. This is March uh, 2024. Look at the back strap. Uh, I keep saying back strap, and I know you're going to fault me on that. Back spacer. The back spacer. And almost looks like if you took it out that you'd have some kind of a tool at the end, but I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. One thing you're going to notice is no screws showing on the outside, either on the pivot or on the handle. Gorgeous. Where are the screws, you might ask? Well, they're right there. And there is at least one there. There's two. And the, uh, there's the end of the uh, back spacer. And uh, inside here, it's numbered, I see, 138, 138, if you can see that too. Anyway, 
hard to show you the innards of a titanium knife because you get a lot of reflection. Uh, speaking of that inside screw setup, they give you this in case you need some reach because your normal bits may not go in that far. So there is a right angled Torx wrench. There is kind of an interesting two piece, uh, maybe pocketable, key chainable um, Torx. I think they're T8. I'm not going to take a look at the moment. If you're really interested, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll check it out for you. Here's a whole set of uh, hardware. Those must be the innard screws. And there's some washers. Although the knife is on bearings and very smooth, if not completely one shake, drop shut, it's pneumatic, as we like to say. <clears throat> so you also get a cleaning cloth, microfiber cloth. You also get a Riot decal. And you get a Riot rubbery uh, Velcro patch. And you get a Riot pouch in case you don't prefer the, uh, the Velcro pouch. That's what I was going to say. Branding wise, pretty clean. Just got Riot there. <clears throat> Might even be too big for some of you. And uh, it is an M390 steel. See if that's uh, designated anywhere. It is not, but it is M390. It was advertised as such. Well, why wouldn't it be? It's a Riot. And um, I'll leave you the link to this. Um, Price-wise, I think we're talking a bit over three. If I'm not incorrect, three, three and a quarter, something like that. Don't have that uh, stat right in front of me. But let's measure the knife, shall we? From tip to stern, we have eight and three quarters exactly. And we have, uh, depending upon where you measure it, if you go out to the edge there, there's my tape uh, shedding its plastic coating again. Uh, three and three quarter inch cutting edge and about like a uh, 385 overall blade length. So it's a big knife. It is not a tiny one. And that's how I like them. Look at this work here on the handle. Pretty crazy. Well, let's get on with the measurements because they like to condense them all into one section. In millimeters, not a faint of heart blade stock. We got like a 4.0, almost looks thicker. Try that one more time. Yeah, it's a 4.0, four millimeters, which in inches, and I know uh, this is consternation for a lot of people, 0.15, because I don't do certain things in metric and other things in imperial, whatever. If um, I go here, last knife I measured, I grabbed the clip by accident. It's a 0.63. So um, not too thin, but uh, definitely hand filling and not overly bulky, I would say. Weight is a hefty 6.82 ounces. So um, not exactly a pocket anchor, but depends upon what you like. Um, as you can see, the handle is contoured. It is beautifully finished with that milled longitudinal line pattern. Um, got about, oh, almost an inch left in my medium large paw. And a perfect swale there for your thumb, although there is no jimping. So uh, they opted out of the jimping on this one. You're putting your thumb on a pretty thick four millimeter blade right in a perfect spot there. Uh, feels fine to me, okay? If you got to have jimping, eh, maybe you could add it if you're talented enough to do that. But yeah, we've got the point roughly in line. I'm going to take a Tucson box here. <laughs> Actually, look at that. It's below. So if you 
Yeah, the point is below. So it gives the impression, therefore, probably not a Persian because the tip doesn't rise above the backside of the handle. Uh, but it hooks up after it goes, the whole blade slightly goes down. So you can get picky about that if you want. There is a, a hidden lanyard. Actually, it's not hidden. Slightly above the surface and part of the backspacer. And it is a hidden liner lock, not a frame lock. But the lockup is still pretty incredible. So what they got to do here, near as I can tell, so that's an all steel liner. Therefore, we don't need to have a uh, hardened steel insert. And I'm looking. And yep, so the engagement is steel on steel, which is what you want. That's why they put the hardened steel uh, inserts in the frame locks. You got a beautiful relief there. Detail, detail, detail. Just really a gorgeous knife. And I'm smitten by their, their blade grinds, really. So here's what I want to show you. Here is the Arcane Abyss. And you guessed it. Also OEM'd by Riot. It is a shorter knife. It was designed by Israel Bacchus of Arcane Designs. And talking about the blades again, there you go once again, that incredible, crazy compound, precise grinds that Riyadh is known for. I don't know any, any other OEM or any other manufacturer that does such crisp grinds. I mean, you could say we, but we doesn't always put that finish on there and is not always doing those compound grinds. How about a Chavez 229 Redencion? Also made by Riot, OEM to Riot. And there is another absolutely gorgeous grind job on this Tonto. And this one comes in a tanto and a, what they call a drop point. Basically the same grinds, except the uh, drop point has a little less of a point and kind of comes up a little bit more. I know they're doing one with a kick stop now and all of that. Um, the only disappointing thing about this knife is the plain Jane kind of uh, G10 that they put on one side and not on the other. So uh, I have uh, reached out to a few uh, modders. I want to see if I can get a uh, dark matter fat carbon fiber put on there instead. I can get it overseas, but they want about a hundred and a half, and I got to send it to Indonesia or something like that. And I'm not really comfortable with ordering stuff from overseas like that, uh, even though I would get the part and put it on myself. But um, truth be told, I have talked to Nathan's Knives, and uh, we may. Uh, have some, uh, something coming up in a few months where uh, he can swap that out. But the blade, oh my God, <laughs> look at these blades. I mean, just crazy. Let me get in a little closer. Yeah, I mean, this is what we're talking about here. M390, 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 I'm pretty sure on all of these without looking. Um, Israel Bacchus does some beautiful designs. I'm sure many of you are fans of his. And uh, again, uh, just we got a similar thing going on with that kind of upward hook to the blade, uh, make it, making this one look rather Bowie-like, this one looking a little more Persian-like, and this one Tonto-esque, you might say. So I'm going to leave you looking at those three, all by Riot, and uh, check out the Riot Tiger. If you're looking for a really sweet, grailish level blade, uh, hard to go wrong. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. I will be back with you very soon with more good stuff. Don't forget to sub. I'd like to have more of you guys watching. Bye.